Do you need an actual MMA rash guard and actual MMA shorts to train MMA or BJJ? Don't be this guy. This is not the right stuff. This, first of all, don't, you shouldn't be wearing shorts like these in public anymore. These are like, if you're 40 and you're like cutting grass, this is the shorts you wear. These are not suitable for MMA or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or grappling or wrestling or any kind of class like that. And this thing is not, this is not a rash guard. It's, first of all, it's more expensive than the rash guard that we're going to talk about today. And this won't hold, this will come up and it'll expose your little furry pasty belly while you're like rolling. This is not the right thing. Let's see what we got. I have children here, and there's these little balls of poison falling out of your packaging. All right, so where were we? Full disclaimer before we get started, Elite Sports sent us the Rash Guard and shorts for free, but we're gonna do a complete unbiased review. The Rash Guard has a like a thicker ridge at the bottom. That's interesting, I wonder if that will help it stay in place. This logo is like embroidered. Uh, this stuff is significantly more substantial, like more thicker. I've, I've dealt with like bargain style equipment before and it was always really thin and shitty. Initial impression, besides the issue with the desiccant, which we can get past that unless one of the kids, you know, eats it and dies or something, in which case I'm gonna need like some gloves or some shin guards too. This stuff is better than I expected it to be based on the prices on their website. So initial, initially it feels pretty good. No weirdness in the armpits, which is always a concern. No weirdness on the neck sometimes if they fit too good in one area, they don't fit well enough in the other. I'm wearing a small in both and the shorts are uh, actually a, a little snug. Maybe they run like a little bit small, uh, they still fit me. The drawstring is actually pretty interesting. It's a big, thick, kind of a higher quality affair than like a, than like typically like a shoelace. It's like a thick round thing, but I don't, I don't ever need the drawstring. We got a mouth guard pocket, which I don't, I don't ever use that. So in case you didn't know, here's how our gear reviews work. I don't do a full review until I've really used the thing. So what that means is I'm gonna spar in it, I'm gonna roll in it, I'm gonna do some weight training and circuit training in it, take it through the wash a few times, and then give you a complete review. So I think because I'm so short-waisted, the distance from here to here is not very long on me. If I put it on flush like I would normally and then close this, it starts to ride up. And this, this hasn't been cool in a few years, this look. I'm gonna try out a medium, but I'm not stupid. The fit on these is way roomier than the small. So if you're in between sizes, I would go up one, uh, just to guess. I'm at the very top end of small and I'm on the, the bottom end of medium. So I like this medium better. A lot of companies send me rash guards and this one is pretty much just as good with one thing that it does better. Uh, remember your pasty little flabby hairy belly that you don't want showing? Yeah, these don't do that. These have this like rim in here the bottom hem of them, much thicker than the bottom of any other rash guard. And this thing stays in place. When you, you pull it down, you can feel it grabbing a hold of you. Final thoughts um, for the price, and I'll put links down below where you can check it out. This is an awesome setup. If you are looking for an inexpensive option, maybe you're just starting out, you don't want to spend a ton of money on something that's essentially a hobby. 
Also, if you haven't seen it before, I've got my whole sparring set up. My complete uh, sparring, MMA, kickboxing, sparring gear, a lot of it budget friendly. I've put the shorts and the rash guard through a ton of washes. Uh, obviously, you don't dry them, and they're holding up pretty good. I haven't had a ton of issues with threads or pilling, no more than anything else. You know, if you leave Velcro exposed, it'll grab it, that sort of thing. Yes, you absolutely need actual MMA shorts with no pockets, no buttons, no zippers, and a proper rash guard if you're going to be sparring or rolling with anyone. If you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you click that subscribe button and uh, check out these videos over here for some more gear reviews.